Hey, what's up, guys? It's Theo from Fino Concept. So, I've decided to show you how I record my videos, a little bit of my setup, so that in case you are interested in doing something quite similar, you may learn a thing or two from watching how I create my videos. Anyway, let's just get started. Alright, so this is my space. I have two windows, one here and the other one here. I keep this one closed um, because of the light I use in the background of my video. And this one is always open so that it can give more light on my face. I'll be coming to the actual setup right here in just a second. But before that, let's just take a look at the decks I have here. The idea was to get this for the Theolabi channel. So at any point in time, if I wanted to... Um, change the look or I wanted to record for the Theolabi channel, I'll just use this as my background and if I wanted the actual um, Fino Concept channel then I'll be using this background but unfortunately it didn't work out so I just stuck with it. Then I came along with this one but most of you told me that the background didn't look so nice so again I had to forget about it and just use the Fino Concept background for everything so i have um another monitor here i use dual monitors most of the time because it's a lot easier rather than working off this 15.6 inch monitor and up here is where i keep my camera gear well most of them the circle one over there is the diffuser so likely for me the carrying bag in which it comes with um, can also accommodate the ring light which i have over there so I can just put all of them in that same thing and it works pretty nice. The next one is the Zomi K11 tripod I did a review about but that's just the bag. The tripod has itself is actually here. That's what I am set the camera on. And that's my bag and this is the Triopold um, softbox. I think it's 65 inches. No, it's actually 65 inches. I don't think I know. And basically this is my bed and I think that's all for this side so for that side this is the closet that everyone sees in my videos they are like the closet most eyes have seen in a youtube video i think and i put my bags over here there are actually three of them so that one is the one i sent to the village when where i'm teaching the reason being the road is very dusty so if i send the new one one all the time i have to wash it again so what I do is I just send the old one and no one is complaining. I mean, it's not like I travel so much with it. That's what I use when I'm going to school, the University of Medicine Technology. And basically that is it. There are supposed to be three. Um, the last one is here. This is the carrying bag for my cameras. And I don't have it there because I've taken the camera out. That's what I'll be recording very soon on. So it's not up here as well. And I have these five um cardboard over here so there's blue there's red there's white there's yellow and green that's what i put on this table anytime i'm doing top down shots so if you see some of the videos with a blue blue um drop on the decks it is any of these i wish i could get more colors but i could only find five at the time so i just think i'll find more um somewhere in the future and again, um, with this thing, this is actually a wallpaper I got from Kiku, but this thing cost a lot. I bought two of them. One cost um, 18 CDs or 16 CDs, I don't quite remember. And I couldn't even use it to fix this wall. So what I did was I cut them into this shape. This is something I designed on my own, but again, people said it looks very bad because of the green paint I have in there. So I think if it was white paint, that would have been okay. So what I decided to do was get this one. This is actually some stickers. The stickers you use for um, your posters and your flyers, all of that. It's just normal stickers. And I have it attached to the wall. And I added a little bit of duct tape. You can see unless I show you. So basically that's it. Down here is where I keep my DVD player and the Canon printer. And a few other things that I... They are not really related to the video, so I'll not be talking about that. Um, there are other things that I'll be making a review about in a couple of days. So in case you haven't subscribed already, stay tuned for that. So yeah, I use this um, desktop. It's the HP P280, I think G1 MT. That is what I'm using. It has 8 gigs of RAM, um, 256 gigs of SSD, and 500 gigs of HDD. And that is the monitor I'm using. So 
this is the median monitor is 22 inches so i can see a lot of the things i'm doing the keyboard and mouse i'm using is from dsfy you can see from here i got this from kiku for i think 70 cds so that's what i've been using for the past year or mm, about one year now and i haven't had the problem the only problem is um it's, it's not comfortable when you are typing on so anytime i want to type on i just move over to this and i just use my laptop i use a laptop a lot for typing and a desktop just for when i'm gaming or editing that one i don't have a problem up here is where i have my tv so this is the samsung 32 inch i don't know whether it's lcd or led i i have no idea but i don't even use it for i don't watch too much tv so you can see that it has a little bit of problem and i tried fixing it i sent it to the repairer and he was telling me that he was going to charge close to 500 cds for that whilst getting a new tv is going to cost like 600 and 800 ghana cds so i just brought it back i mean after all i don't use it i don't only really use it for this displaying this picture for my background and up here is a picture of my dad who passed away sometimes so that's the only picture in the room i wish i could get a clock somewhere around here but anyway that is what we are dealing with so what i'm using right now for the background lights are these three one two and three um flat lights they are not led lights like the aperture you've been seeing in um popular youtube videos what i use are flat lights and i have this film on top of them and um, this is the cover of your handouts i don't know if you've seen that so i just took one of the handouts i cut it into this size so this is going to give me a blue light if i turn it on like this oh i should actually power it there. so in order to power i just turn off the dvd because the place is full i slot this one in and power it on so yeah you can see that it is just a normal sorry for the flicking it's just a normal white light but if i want to get the blue then i just put the blue on like this and loose blue i think that is pretty cool so for the second one this is actually the warm one so they, are, they come in two colors we have the warm and we have the um cold so the cold is the white one which looks bluish already and the warm one is the one which use which looks yellowish so what i did was i just added this um, yellow wrapper to it so that it makes it glow much nicer and that's what i use for my yellow backdrop there's another light which i don't use quite often unless of course i'm doing some form of um drop down shot then i use this it's very bright it's 30 watt and it costs like 60 cds so basically um, i think that is my setup i should have probably turned off the fan before starting this recording and that's one thing i always do so let me just turn it off and let's record um something so i'll turn on my camera we are live and this is just an addition for quite recently i don't use the ring lights all the time but nowadays i feel like it's helps fill the my face with more light instead of looking so dark so most often than not i was just using this window so the sun rays coming from the window allows me to fill my face but from now onwards i just use the ring light to also compensate for that so yeah let me just switch to that and show you how it is like when recording the video mention of what i have here so if i stand up you can see it is a normal chair with this styrofoam on top so what i do is i have this thing from shoot um what it allows me to do is i can rack focus on the camera using this the camera is the 600d or t3i it doesn't come with the dual pixel autofocus from canon so i just use this to get my focus and i start recording and i also have a phone here well any phone at all i just set it to the sound recorder i record here and record there then i sync up the audio when i'm editing the video so so the the cell phone is barely out of frame 
because this is also out of frame i can also use the table sometimes but again that is not what i use so at any point in time when i'm doing um youtube reviews or a review of a product i have the laptop set here and the ring light is connected to the laptop and i'll be reading from here and i'll just show you from here as well so if it's an arrow then i just memorize everything i have to say and i speak directly to the camera you may have seen some bloopers at the end of every video but if it is a pre-roll that i'm going to put on top like talking about the screen obviously i have to show you the screen and all of that so that's going to be a pre-roll shot so what i do is i just tilt my head just a little bit so that i can read from the monitor and still be able to talk to you so yeah basically that is how i set up myself when i'm recording uh, my videos um most of the audio you are hearing right now is coming right out of the new microphone i got for this camera so that's the uh, boya bymm one i'll be doing a review about it in case you are interested in that so i don't have to be using my cell phone as much anymore and I also have this lavalier mic also connected to my phone in case I can't be so close to the camera and I want to just move away and be able to talk to you. So yeah, that's what I do when I'm about to record a video and I think my background is set. I usually remove the bags from the back so you don't see it over my head like so. But I'm just showing you so I don't think that is that. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. If you like, am I recording? Yeah. So before I leave, again, if you saw the Theolabi anywhere in this video, just leave a timestamp in the description below. So if you saw it as 2 minutes 59 seconds, just type 2 colon 59 and just say where you found it. Probably you saw it on my head, then you can just say 2 colon 59. So I'll be down there in the comments checking up on you guys. So anyone who is the first to find it at any time, is the one who's going to win the prize. I'll just contact you personally and forward you whatever giveaway it is. I am sure that there are lots of the Labi things going around. That is why I didn't even wear the shirt because the logo is on my chest and you see it throughout the entire video. So anyway, I, <laughs> I think that is it. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel and other channels which I have them linked below. And as always, don't forget to share with your family and friends. This is Theo from Fino Concepts. Now I'll talk to you guys in the next one.